And here we are again. And today we've got some really great activities. We're going to be starting off by planting some seeds. And then we're going to be making a device to water the seeds with. Then we're going to do some painting. And of course our magic trick. And last, our fun fact of the day. So we better get on with it. today's activity we are going to be planting some seeds. Now you can find seeds in lots of different vegetables but the vegetable we're going to be using today is the pepper. Okay I've got a yellow one here but they come in all different sizes and all different colours. You can get them in green, in red but mine is yellow. And you will see that if I cut open this pepper and I just take out the centre like so with a very sharp knife so be careful and I just twist that pepper you will see that inside there are many many little tiny seeds now we're going to use those seeds to grow a plant with okay so what we're going to do first or what we did do because I also did this with my son Gal is that we went outside with just a normal bowl like so we found some earth, some soil from outside in the garden and we placed it inside. Then we took our seeds and we sprinkled them on top of the soil. Then we took a milk jug, which is empty, like so, we washed it out. And then we took a skewer and we made holes in the top of the lid. Now the lid is made of plastic so it's very easy to poke these holes through. Well now I've said that, now it's difficult. <laughs> okay, but you should be able to poke quite a few of them through. And it will look something like this. Okay, so once you've done that you are going to screw the lid off, you're going to take some water and you're going to pour it in your carton. There we are. And then you are going to replace the lid on the top. Okay? Then you will bring back your dish with your soil, your earth, and your seeds on the top. And you will see that if you just pour nicely, water will come through nicely into your dish and onto the soil. Now, you need to leave this dish in a pretty warm place and in the light for a few days and you will see that each day it will start to grow. Now, we did this one last week and look how much it's grown already. It's very exciting to take a look at it each day and see how it's growing. So have a go and see how you get on. to make a beautiful butterfly, a symmetrical butterfly. What does that mean? That means that it's the same on both sides and we're going to paint it. So first of all you will need a piece of paper like this, a piece of card and then what you're going to do is that you're going to fold it in half like so, okay? And you will see that I'm making a nice crease and then I'm going to open it again. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen and do you remember how we drew the number three in the last video to make the butterfly? So we're going to do the same, okay? We're going to start in the center and we're going to draw a number three, like that, okay? Can you see that? A number three, okay? And you will see that number three starts right at the center at the top and finishes right at the center at the bottom. So the next thing is you're going to do is you're going to take your paintbrush, okay? Now you can decorate this however you want, but I'm going to use paint. I'm gonna use some nice pink paint and I am just going to paint however I want some lovely colors only on this side of the paper. And I'm going to fill in the whole of the butterfly. Okay guys, so you can see that I have 
you use the paint that I've got and I have painted in one side of the butterfly's wings. You can use whatever colours you want but please be very generous with the paint. The more paint that's on the picture the better it will work. So do it quickly so the paint is still wet and then all you need to do, this is the fun bit, is that you fold the page over and what you're going to do is you're going to pat it down, push it, push it, push it, push it with all your weight, let's hope it's going to work and then very slowly and very carefully you are going to open the picture and whoop, you will see, fantastic, look, it's the same on both sides, isn't that beautiful? Okay, now I'm going to use a feather, you can use whatever you've got, okay, you can use a popsicle stick, if you want you can wait for it to dry and then just to draw, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it to your butterfly, okay, the, in the, the middle of your butterfly, like that, and then when it's dry, you're going to take your pen, and what you're going to do is you are just going to draw the antennae on the top like so and there you will see a beautiful butterfly have a go and see how you get on it's so much fun and now for today's magic trick and today I am going to make this coin transport into this cup magically now you can see that this is very solid at the bottom and around the sides there's no holes at all and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Abra Kadabra and magically the coin appears into the cup how did I do that so how did I do it so for this trick you will need one cup and not one coin but two coins and this is what you need to do first you take one coin and you place it in your hand over the two fingers next to your thumb okay then you take your cup with your other hand and you are going to hold the coin against the cup with those two fingers and you will see that if I hold the cup like this you cannot see see it or the audience cannot see that the coin is underneath my fingers then you are going to say to the audience today I am going to take this coin that's your other coin and I am going to make it magically appear in the cup okay so you say abracadabra you take the coin you push it underneath the cup and so it makes a noise and at the same time you release the coin from your fingers into the cup but make sure that your other hand is closed and you can't see the coin then you shake you show the audience that there's a coin inside the cup and they will be amazed have a go and let me know how you get on and now for today's fun fact of the day and today's fun fact is about the beautiful butterfly. Now did you know that butterfly's wings are totally transparent? That means that you can see through them. On top of the wing there are lots of little tiny scales which reflect the light and make them very colourful and beautiful. Not only that, but butterflies taste with their feet and their diet consists of only liquid. So sometimes if they can't find liquids around, they go to very unusual places to try and find them. Take a look at this video and see where they find the liquid. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed all the activities. So until next time, Stay safe, stay healthy and stay 